Good evening and welcome to Cayuga Arena. I'm John Molson. Tonight's matchup sees the Stratford Cullitons take on the Caledonia Pro Fit Corvairs. Caledonia will try to improve the two and one at home this season, although tonight's game takes place here at Cayuga Arena. Next week, we'll be back at the Haldeman Arena in Caledonia for a 7:20 game against the Waterloo Siskins on Friday, the 5th of October. Last night, Caledonia improved to three and two on the year. Captain Mitch Brown got his first two goals of the year and totaled three points on the night. Tonight, the fifth place Corvairs will try to move further up the standings as they're hoping for another win against the third place Stratford Cullet here in Cayuga. Linesman Adam Harris, Brendan McGilvery. The PA the public address announcer is just going to make a few announcements here, and we're now ready for the singing of our national anthem. for tonight's game. In net for the Stratford Cullitons, number one, Joe Metzger. He's played in three games with a two and one win-loss record, five goals against, and a 228 goals against average. 51 saves on the year for a save percentage of 911. And for the Caledonia Corvairs, Zach Esvelt in net. He's played two games with a record of 2-0, four goals against, two goals against average, and a 9.25 save percentage. Mitch Brown and Barton line up for the faceoff. Dumped in by Caledonia, Nate Mitten makes chase. Stratford tries to clear the puck up the boards, trying to get out of their own end to make a play to start the first period, trying to get on the board here early. Cleared ahead, Wet Lauer down the side wing into Jared Cullitton at center, but the pass is intercepted by Caledonia and we head back up the ice. Chipped away by Barton, he goes down in the corner, centers out front and Esveld makes the save. Cleon back on the point, he's blocked by Swift, and Swift clears the puck up the boards, but it lands out of play. Brooks and Connor Murphy on the draw. Murphy wins the draw back around the net, chipped up the boards and back down into the corner. Abraham takes chase and clears it around to his other defenseman, up the wing, down the boards, but the pass is intercepted by Wettlauer and dropped back in. Montour tries to go up the boards, but the pass is intercepted. A possible two on one, but the play is broken up by Dorian. Back on the point, plea on the shot, but Esfeld makes the save in the stomach area. <laughs> Brooks. 
Brett Heyman and Tyler Norrie to face off here. Norrie wins the draw, clears it back to Blythe on defense. Up the boards, Bombery gets hit hard. Henderson gets in there. Bombery tries to go up the boards. He turns around and regroups and drops the puck back to Blythe. Blythe shoots the puck in, but Metzger clears the puck away to the corner. Blythe from the point, the shot is blocked, and Stratford heads out of the zone. Killens dumps the puck in, but Esveld puts it off to the corner, played by his defenseman, Henderson. Noria hit along the boards, cleared back to the Caledonia defense. Henderson charges up ice and dumps the puck in, but it's intercepted by Killens. Brooks tries to go in. He drops the pass off to Heyman. It's centered out front to Brooks, but he can't get a stick on it. It's cleared out of the zone, and McArdle clears the puck back in. Blunt back for Caledonia. He waits, dumps the puck up the boards and up through center. McMullen dumps the puck in, and it's grabbed on the other wing. Back to the point to Blunt. Metzger kicks the shot aside. Culleton back behind his own net. He clears but misses his forward and it goes all the way down the ice for a possible icing. Referee waves it off. Blunt plays the puck. And McMullen digs the puck out and down the wing. Cleared to the other side and Jonathan dumps the puck in. Several players along the boards. The puck's dumped out into the neutral ice. Ferris puts the puck back to Christmas, who clears it up to Mitten on the side board. Mitch Brown chips the puck in. Pleon goes back for Stratford. He's checked by two opposing players. Caledonia looks out front, but Mitten has the pass stuck in his feet. Cleared up the boards. Wettlauer looks for a pass. He drops it. He shoots, but it's kicked aside by Esveld. Brown chips the puck up the wing to Mitten, who clears it in the zone. Swift and Swift chases the defender. It's intercepted by Swift. Mitten back into the corner, but. Looked like it went into the netting, but no, Stratford heads back the other way. Barton picks up the puck for Stratford. He looks to clear the puck out front, but it's intercepted by Christmas. Christmas goes up to Mitten. The puck's dumped back into the Caledonia zone. Abraham looks to clear the puck up the ice. And Montour goes offside on the play, and he's dumped by number nine, Ryan Watson. We'll have a face-off in the Stratford zone. Connor Murphy wins the draw for Caledonia. The puck's dumped in and Murphy gives chase. Cleared out by Stratford, Blythe goes back to regroup. He dumps the puck up the boards and in the zone, Connor Murphy takes chase, but there's an, off, there's an icing call on the play. Of the arena. Sauter and Murphy line up to take the draw. It's tied up. Sauter gets the puck back to the point, the shot, and a glove save by Esveld. Murphy will take the draw a little further in the zone now with Sauter again. The second draw back to the point and it's kicked aside by Esveld. Henderson goes up the boards, it's kept in at the point. Brooks gives chase but Blythe goes behind the net. He's hit as the puck goes in the neutral zone. Killens back for Stratford, he clears the puck. Can't find a forward and we go for icing. Tyler 
Tyler Nori and Tyler Nori ties up at the draw. Curry goes behind his own net, clears it up the wing, in through center. Stratford dumps it in, but they turn around for a line change. Dorian clears the puck up. Stratford keeps it on side, but Caledonia breaks out on a rush. Blunt at the point, keeps it in, clears it in to Montour. Dorian on the side wing. Checked by the Stratford forward, Jared Culleton. Back to the Stratford defense, looks for a play and chips it off the boards. Bombery gives Chase in the corner, a slight nudge by the Stratford defender. Cleared up the boards, but stopped by Blunt. Blunt checks his man in the corner, and the puck goes back down the ice. Dorian clears it back in for Caledonia. Langford chips the puck in to the right side of Esveld, gives chase. McMullen gives it back to Christmas behind his own net. Christmas clears up the side wing to Briar Jonathan. He dumps the puck in. Metzger goes behind the net, but doesn't need to play the puck. Christmas back. He takes the puck himself, and he'll shoot wide of the net. McMullen back to the point. His shot and a glove saved by Metzger. Abraham shoots off the point. Joe Metzger makes the save on the glove side. Mitch Brown in to take the draw. He wins the draw back to Matthew Henderson, chips it into Jeff Swift back behind the net. Simon Blythe chips the puck back in. He's able to keep it in, but Stratford intercepts the pass. Pleon gives chase. Hits Mitten behind the net. Pleon clears back to his other defense partner, clears up the side wing, and Caledonia chips the pass back out. Swift on a possible two on one, he shoots, and a big save by Metzger. Blocker side. Mitten falls down in the corner. Stratford behind their own net. Watson clears up, back to Watson. Watson tries to do it alone, trying to beat three Caledonia defenders. Down into the corner and chipped out, almost hitting the ceiling. Henderson goes on the offense, in between two defenders. He's in behind the net now, looks for a centering pass, trying to find Montour. Henderson gets away, he's still got the puck. Back to Blunt, partially blocked the shot. And Metzger puts it into the corner. Montour looks out front and the shot is missed just wide. Dalton Riley trying to get the first goal of this game. We're still tied at zero, 11.15 left in the first period. Caledonia zero, Stratford zero. Connor Murphy on the draw, ties up. Barton wins the draw and back to his defenseman. Hits a player in the skate, but Caledonia retains possession. Murphy along the boards. He can't chip it to his own player and Stratford takes the puck out at center ice. They're on a three on two. Wetlauer to Barton. Wetlauer got the puck back, but he missed wide. Esveld makes the save and dumps the puck up in over the glass. Tyler Nori on the draw with Trevor Sauter. Nori wins the draw back to the defense around the boards and chipped out. 
Nori gives chase with Bombery. Bombery looks out front, goes in behind the net, looking for a pass, goes to the point. Christmas can't keep the puck in. Stratford goes up through center. Brooks can't hang on to it. And Caledonia goes back the other way on a two-on-two. -two. Nori drops to Dorian wide of the net. Sauter in the corner. He's checked by Bombery. And back to the point, Henderson falls down and a possible two on one, maybe even a three on one, but nobody can gain possession of the puck. Now we're on a two on one the other way, and they score! Brendan Bobbery from Tyler Norrie, and the Caledonia Corvairs take a one to nothing lead. Six seconds past the halfway mark of this first period. Brendan Bombery gets the Caledonia Corvairs on the board as they take a one to nothing lead on a feed from Tyler Norrie. They're back in again, but they miss the net wide. McMullen, three on first goal. Here's the official announcement. Brandon Scored by number Bombery 61, Brendan Bombery. Tyler Norrie. Ten ten. 10-10, the time of that first goal. And we're whistled on the offside. So Brandon Bombery gets his second goal on the year. The first goal of this game to give Caledonia a one to nothing lead. James up through center, chips the puck in. James goes into the corner looking for Sauter out front, but the play's intercepted by Ferris. Back to the point, Killens, the shot wide. Jonathan goes and just chips the puck in as all five men were back for Stratford. Killens dumps the puck in. James intercepts the clearing pass by Caledonia. Three or four players down in the corner. Play is cleared up. Jeff Swift gives Swift looking for the pass back, but Mitten takes the shot glove side and Metzger makes the save. Stratford clears the puck off the boards. Christmas chips it back in. Culleton back across the line for Stratford. He tries to give the puck off to O'Brien. Jeff Swift grabs the puck on the boards and he heads in all alone, drops the puck off to Mitten. His shot is high up over the net. Christmas chips the puck in, but the Culletons regroup and dump it down the ice. Barton gives chase down in the corner. Four men down in behind the Caledonia net. Esveld plays the puck, 7.46 left in the first period. Caledonia clears the puck up, Montour gives chase. He gets to it first, but the Stratford defenseman intercepts that pass. Connor Murphy in along the boards. His shot, and they score! Metzger should have had that one, but Connor Murphy gets it in on the short side, and the Caledonia Corvairs take a two to nothing lead. Caledonia's second goal, unassisted for number 14, Connor Murphy. So an unassisted goal by Connor Murphy. Because Joe Metzger should have made that save, but it slipped in short side. Caledonia takes a two to nothing lead here with seven minutes to go in the first period. Yeah. 
Murphy regroups, dumped back to the Stratford defense. Watson keeps it in for Stratford. He's hit by Montour to avoid a scoring chance. Blythe clears it up the boards to Henderson in behind the net. Henderson clears it out to center ice. Heyman gets in there. Watson looking for a man out front. He turns around in the corner. Killen's looking for the puck, but the referee whistles the play down. Jeff Swift on his wing. He wins the draw, hands it back Stratford to Swift, and gives it to Blunt. Stratford Watson. penalty on the play. For holding. Ryan Watson, two minutes for holding, 6.28, and Caledonia looks to extend their lead here. Montour can't keep the puck in. He dives at neutral ice, but can't contain the puck. Mitten up the boards, intercepted by Stratford. Barton turns around, drops it to his defense, who clears it back in. O'Brien gives it a shot. And a save by Esfeld, glove save. Can't see who that Stratford player was with the shot. He was on my opposite wing. But a great shot on a feed by O'Brien. Esveld with a big glove save. Heyman and Connor Murphy in for the draw. Murphy wins the draw. He takes it himself, drops it back to Henderson. Henderson regroups behind his own net. Henderson looks up ahead, drops it to Murphy on the boards. Murphy goes up the boards by himself, drops it off to the point. Blythe dumps it back in to Riley, Dalton Riley. Passes it behind the net to Nori. Nori looks out front. And a shot kicked aside by Metzger. Henderson looks to set up again with 35 seconds left on the Stratford penalty. Murphy. Dumps it up. Murphy grabs the puck once again as his defense partner falls over. Looking to set up a play to Nori on the point. He shoots high. Nori misses high. Blythe keeps it in. Who gives it back to Nori. Nori looks out front. He's checked by a Stratford forward. McMullen keeps it in. It's chipped. Henderson gave the puck to Dalton Riley, who barely missed another goal, trying to extend the lead to three to nothing. And we're gonna get another penalty here with 425 left in the first period. Cross-checking on Stratford. Let's see who goes to the box. Two minutes for cross-checking, 425 left in the first. Mitch Brown out to take the draw on the power play. He ties up at the draw, stuck between the Stratford players' feet. Trevor Sauter, two minutes for cross-checking. 4.24, the first period. So Caledonia gets another two minutes here. Back to Montour on the point. He shoots and it goes way high on the deflection, up over the glass and the netting.
Blunt keeps the puck in, puts it in the corner to Mitten. Montour on the point, he shoots, it's partially blocked, looking for Brown out front. Front, Blunt. Back to Blunt, his shot just misses the net. Right? They score! Mitch Brown with his third goal of the year on the deflection of the end boards. And the Caledonia Port Mayors take a three to nothing lead. <laughs> Mitch Brown grabs the rebound off the end boards from the shot on the point. Caledonia now with a three to nothing lead. Stop, Caledonia's third goal from the captain, Mitch Brown. Uh -huh. Number five, Ryan Blunt. And number 16, Jeff Swift. Time for that power play goal. Time of the power play goal, 3.22. So Mitch Brown from Ryan Blunt and Jeff Swift, and there's another goal. Bombery at the side of the net. Ryan Bombery gets Caledonia a four to nothing lead. So they keep the goals coming fast and furious. We don't even get that third goal announced and they've already put another goal in the back of the net. 4-0 Caledonia with 250 to play here in the first period. McArdle turns around for Stratford. Cleared up the boards. The, the Stratford player checked by Abraham. Second of the evening, number 61, Brandon Bonbury. Assist scorer number 19, Scott Dorian. And number 22, Tyler Norrie. Time to goal, 250. So assists on that goal go to Scott Dorian and Tyler Norrie. Stratford looking for their first goal, drops it to Wetlauer. But Esveld makes the save. I'm gonna have trouble with that name all evening, folks. Wetlauer, Wet Loafer. I don't know, we'll figure something out. <laughs> Sauter in to take the draw against Nick McMullen. McMullen's kicked out of the faceoff draw, and Lucas Tusseroni takes the draw for Caledonia. It's wide of the net. Sauter gives chase. Jonathan can't grab the puck out in front of the net. Stratford digging away, looking for that first goal, desperately chipping, chipping at the puck. Killens dumps the puck back in. Looks like there's going to be a penalty. Hooking. Blythe is down, let's see. Looks like the Stratford player is gonna get it. 146 left in the first period. No, Simon Blythe is gonna get that penalty by the looks of things. Blythe was the one down on the ice, but he's the one that ends up with the penalty. So Stratford will get their first power play of the first period. Looking to get on the board as Caledonia has a four to nothing lead. Draws one by Stratford, but Barton can't clear the puck into anyone. And the puck goes all the way back down the ice. Looks like our PA guy is new at this too. Simon Blythe for two minutes for holding the stick. So he must have held the stick while he was falling to the ice. Looks like an interference call on O'Brien. O'Brien's gonna go to the box to negate that Stratford power play. Connor Murphy in to take the draw. 
cleared back out the neutral ice. Watson gives chase. And Watson hit hard by Ryan Bryant. Time of the penalty, 127. Connor Murphy turns around, drops the puck back to Ferris. Ferris goes up through neutral ice. He's got two Stratford defenders on him, drops it to Jeff Swift, out in front of the net. They score! Connor Murphy on the backhand from Jeff Swift. And the Caledonia Corvairs take a 5 to nothing lead. Montour jumps, dumps his man, so he'll head to the box. That's his second of the evening. Assisted by number 16, Jeff Swift. Time to roll 59 seconds. So with 59 seconds left in the first period, Connor Murphy gets his second goal on the night, assisted by Jeff Swift, as he buried the backhand to give Caledonia a five to nothing lead. Corvair penalty number 62, Brandon Montour. Hooking, 51 seconds. Brandon Montour goes off for hooking. So Stratford gets a four on three here. Still hoping for their first goal before they find themselves out of this game. And the puck clear back down the ice. Metzger drops the puck off to his defenseman. Stratford clears up the boards. Wettlauer tries to go backhand, but it's blocked by several players in front. Barton, he scores! Barton on the point, puts it in high stick side past Esveld. And the Stratford Cullitans get on the board. Now down five to one with only 4.2 seconds left in the first period. That's gonna just about do it here for the first. And the buzzer sounds and that's the end of the first period. So at the end of one period of play, on two goals by Brandon Bombery and Connor Murphy. The Caledonia Corvairs have what so far looks like a commanding five to one lead after the first period of play. Four seconds. So the teams head to the dressing room and after the first period, it's the Caledonia Profit Corvairs five and the Stratford Cullitans one. Referees and the two teams hit the ice to start the second period. Caledonia with a big five to one lead. Motley Crew playing on the loudspeakers, pumping up the fans to start the second period. I've got a couple youngsters here in front of me jumping up and down with excitement, so. We're just about set to start the second. The captain, Andrew Barton, goes out to center ice to meet with the officials as we're waiting for the second period of play to get underway. Connor Murphy with one. And Scott Dorian out to take the draw. Or Dalton Riley, excuse me. 
cleared back into the Caledonia end. Ferris turns around to regroup, chips it past the Strapper player. Blunt flips the puck around the boards back to Ferris. Ferris eludes his check and he's still behind the net. Back behind as well to regroup. Murphy tries to go up the boards, intercepted by Stratford, but the play is deflected up over the net. Esvel got a little wee piece of that one. A hand pass down to the line, but Stratford keeps the puck in. Cleared up and around the boards, kept on side by Stratford. Back to the point, the shot blocked by Ferris. Ferris chips it out to himself and tries to do all the work himself. Ryan Watson comes in, short side, but Esvel gets the glove out and makes the save. Nori and Trevor Sauter on the draw. The ref waits as Van Halen plays in the background. The puck is dropped and Nori drops it back to Abraham on the boards. Abraham checked by Brooks. Brooks digs it out. Cleared up through center by Bombery. Bombery goes up to Nori. Nori clears it in back to Bombery. Bombery goes in behind the net, but Stratford picks the puck up and clears it down the boards. Brooks can't handle the pass. Sauter goes up through center. He tries to find Wettlauer, but they go offside on the play. Nori out to take the draw with Dorian and Bombery on the wings. Nori wins the faceoff, drops it back in the zone to Simon Blythe, who hands it to his other defense partner, Henderson. Intercepted by Langford, and it's cleared into the corner. Three or four men down in the corner there. Somebody looking to chip it down the boards. And Dorian grabs it on the wing. Nori in through center. He tries to go in around Pleon. He's checked at the boards. Pleon digs it out. Intercepted by the Stratford player. Langford goes in. Caledonia gets back. Kept on side by Stratford. The shot is wide. Henderson. Langford checked in behind the net by McMullen. The Stratford player falls, and Caledonia grabs possession. In through center, intercepted by Stratford. And a chest save by Esveld. Henderson picks the puck up, clears it down the wing. Into Dorian, who can't control the pass. James and he does it alone, but shoots high up over the net. James looks for a pass, dumps it back in the corner. Wettlauer looks, passes off. Back into Wettlauer in the corner. And the shot by Wettlauer, kept in by Culleton. He shoots, the rebound, they score. So Trevor McDonald puts in the rebound off the point. And Stratford gets their second goal to pull within three. The Caledonia Corvairs now with a 5-2 lead. Mitch Brown lines up for the faceoff. Draw is won by Stratford. Barton tips it in wide of the net. So Barton Stratford, gets an assist on that goal. play. Scored by number 19, Trevor McDonald. Assist number 22, Jared Culleton. And number 17, Dylan Wettlock. Time to go, 16-15. A 
big hit in the neutral zone and there's gonna be a penalty on that call, interference. So Trevor McDonald from Jared Culleton and Wetlauer, a little over three minutes into the second period and Stratford pulls within three goals, now trailing five to two. Brown on the faceoff wins the draw back to the point. Montour looks into his side wing back to Montour. Into Nori, he shoots. And a glove save by Metzger. Guilty of charging. He'll serve two minutes. So Mitch Vanderguns goes off for charging. Draws one by Brown back to Mitten on the point. Or Montour, sorry. Blunt regroups for Caledonia. He's chased by Watson. He turns around and Blunt goes all the way back up the ice, down into the corner. Sees Mitten in behind the net. Mitten on the wing, drops to Montour, back over to Mitten. Mitten back to Montour. Montour shoots, and through a maze of players, Metzger makes the save. Back on the boards, Montour to Blunt, back to Montour, into the wing to Swift, back to Montour. The shot is partially blocked and trails off into the corner. And cleared all the way back down the ice, played by Esbell. Montour looks to regroup, still 43 seconds left on this power play. And Connor Murphy has trouble gaining possession of the puck in the neutral zone and ends up all the way back in his own end. Henderson chase, so he turns around, moves the puck up, Montour grabs the puck on the wing. And it's dumped back in the Stratford end. As the puck's cleared, Blythe can't contain the puck and he's all the way back in his own end. Checked by Heyman. Heyman gets around two defenders, puck at the side of the net. Jonathan Langford tries to go stick side Sneak it in on a wraparound, but couldn't put the puck in. McMullen lines up for the draw. Stratford grabs the puck in the corner, or tries to. Checked by McMullen and Greg Christmas. Back to the point to Killens. His shot is partially blocked. Killens tries to grab the puck, but it goes all the way back down the ice, recovered by Jared Cullen. James up through center. The plays grab down the wing. Back into the corner. Stratford looking for a goal on the point. The shot's tipped just wide. Just wide of the glove save of Esveld. Stratford trying to battle their way out front and the puck's dumped back in along the boards by McDonald. James to the point. Puck still kept in. Abraham hits his man looking to get the puck out. And the puck is cleared to the neutral zone. Culleton regroups for the Culletons, chipped in by O'Brien. Barton goes into the corner, centers out front to Wetlauer. He can't get enough on it to get a good shot away. Out in front, and a big save by Asfeld on O'Brien. Shane O'Brien left all alone out in front. 
But Esvel takes the puck in the chest area to make the save. Barton on the draw, can't get a shot. Blunt goes around the boards and clears the puck up the sideboards. Ferris goes back. Four players down the sideboards. And Esveld takes a shot from Wettlauer. He didn't like that shot after the whistle. He'd already made the save in the chest area. So a weak shot off the point, saved in the chest area by Esveld, and then he takes a shot from Wettlauer, and he didn't like that. Esveld looking for a penalty from the head ref. He's talking to the ref. He thinks Wettlauer deserved a penalty on that one. Barton and Mitch Brown line up for the draw. They both tie up. Back to the Stratford point, kept in by Killens. Around the boards, Barton goes behind them. Net, he's in on the boards, checked by Mitten. Back to the point. Killens, a cross ice pass, it's blocked. Back to the point. Stratford looking to set up a third goal here. Back to the point, the shot gets through, but it's tipped wide, nowhere near Esveld. In on the boards, back to Culleton on the point. Makes the pass in down low. Watson around the net. He circles. He's checked by Blunt. Blunt tries to get it out. Trying to kill the last 107 of this penalty. Left in by Killens and Caledonia finally clears the puck down the ice. Metzger leaves the puck behind the net for his own defenseman. Pull it and clears the puck up, but it's dumped back in. Metzger plays the puck. Jeff Swift four checks, but Stratford heads back out. Looking for Sauter. Brooks down in the corner, drops the pass off, back to the point to Killens. The shot across his block, Killens gets it back, it's blocked again, and a penalty's gonna come here as Jeff Swift tries to clear the puck at the point. Jeff Swift will go off, two minutes for hooking, 10.44 left in the second period. Caledonia leads this game, 5-2. That's number 682106. The winner of a gift bag, flowers by Lini and just a little bit dollar story in Oshkosh, 682118. That's 682118. Please come to the lobby to claim your prize. Connor Murphy in to take the draw, wins the draw back to Ferris. Ferris looks around, drops it back to Murphy on the boards. Murphy checked by two Stratford players. A big scrum on the boards between two players from each side. Stratford goes down the board, eludes the check, but another penalty coming to Scott Dorian here as Heyman gets hit from behind. The Stratford player carrying players on his back as he tried to go in all alone. Beating checks of two players down the ice to try and get a scoring chance. And as a result, Stratford will go on the power play for two minutes. James and Connor Murphy line up for the draw. Chip back to Greg Christmas. Christmas gives it to Henderson, Henderson looks to clear the puck off the boards, trying to kill some time off this Stratford power play. He takes the puck in all along, all alone, and a glove save made by Metzger. Two minutes for slashing. 139 left in the penalty. Scott Dorian at 1019, two minutes for slashing. Murphy lines up for the draw, wins the draw. 
puck is cleared out to neutral ice. Metzger plays the puck behind his net and leaves it for the defenseman. Defenseman clears it up the wing. Eludes a check from Blythe. Blythe checks his man to try and avoid a scoring chance for Stratford. Dalton Riley back up the ice. He goes to Henderson and they get a shot away shorthanded. 50 seconds into the Stratford power play. Caledonia looking for a shorthanded goal. After an outburst of five goals in the first, Caledonia's had no goals here in this second period. Stratford looking to get within two goals, trying to net their third goal. Watson chips the puck in, in around the defenseman, but Greg Christmas recovered. Up to Tyler Nori. Nori down the boards. He goes in behind the net. Abraham keeps it in at the point. His weak shot is wide. I'm confused as to what the call is here, but there's a broken stick down in the Stratford zone. Fans, check those lineup cards. If you've got 682, one Tyler Norrie going off. You've got yourself a force and it's some room And after a 16 second one, one, four six. on four, six, eight, two, Stratford will take a two man uh, advantage. You just won passes for the next home game. Come to the lobby. Mitch you Brown and Barton Martin. in to take the face off. And the Stratford offensive zone puts it back to the defense, trying to box him in. Back to the point, back to O'Brien. His shot is up over top of the net. And Mitch Brown clears the puck out as he's hit by the Stratford forward. O'Brien back to regroup. Two minutes to Nori for interference. Time nine minutes. The puck deflected up into the rafters, hits the ceiling. We'll go into the neutral zone for this face-off. Barton faces off against Mitten. Back to the defense. Stratford will take a five on three now, looking to net their third goal of this game. Watson up through center. Dumps the puck into Barton. Barton behind the net, back to Watson. Watson back to the point to call it, and he can't contain the pass. He turns around to regroup. Culleton gives it to Killens. It's intercepted by Mitten. He goes in alone to kill some penalty time. Down the wing. Back to the defense to Killens. Back to Killens. Killens looks across to Culleton. Culleton can't grab the pass, and his shot is blocked. Culleton wrestles with Mitten, who's fallen in neutral ice. Watson regroups and up the wing. The winger eludes his chuck to Watson, who misses the net wide. Killens turns around. Back to Killens that deflected off a Caledonia player. His shot, Killens a big shot, and a blocker saved by Esvel. Curry goes back, he's checked by Montour. Montour gets in there to kill off this last nine seconds of the Stratford power play. Connor Murphy goes up through center and that'll do it for the Stratford power play. Murphy intercepts the pass, he grabs it along the boards to Montour. Montour with a big shot, way wide of the net. Looked like a pass, but no one was there. Dalton Riley to Montour in behind the net. Three players in along the boards. Stratford can't chip the puck out. And a, another penalty coming here to Caledonia. 
Curry in down the wing. He tries to take it alone. He sees a shot that deflects off Sauter and the mask of Esveld. And Stratford will go back on a two minute power play. Lineup cards, you just want a pair of homemade knitted slippers. 621 left. If you have number second period. One, three, Caledonia two, still with a five to two lead, but Stratford with several power plays still line, looking six, for that eight, third goal. If you've got card number six eight two one one. Martin two, lines up six, for the draw. Eight, two, one one two. He clears the the puck to the side wall. Barton has got the puck back, back to the point, back to Barton. He puts it in behind the net, looking for a centering pass out front. And if the puck falls across the line, Brown chips it back in. Defense clears it up the boards. Barton goes down along the boards, drops to O'Brien. O'Brien looks to pass to Curry. His shot and a blocker saved by Esveld. Or a pad saved by Esveld, sorry. Metzger clears the puck up. Stratford goes through center. O'Brien looks to do it alone, avoids his defender. But the puck is cleared back down the ice. 106 left in the Caledonia penalty. Up through center, James now down the wing. Looks for a pass back to the point to Cullinan. Cullinan to Killens. Killens into the corner, down the wing, back to Cullinan. He misses the pass. Cullinan gives to Killens. It's intercepted at center ice by Jeff Swift. Nobody getting possession here in the neutral zone. Chip back into Stratford to James. Killens misses the pass over to Wetlauer. He drops to Killens. Gets stuck in Jeff Swift's feet. Killens gets the puck back, gives it into the corner. Another penalty coming. And Caledonia's got to be getting frustrated here, taking several possibly unnecessary penalties here in the second period giving Stratford the possible opportunity to get back in this game. So Stratford will go on a two-man advantage for nine seconds. Brett Heyman in to take the draw against Tyler Nori. Heyman wins the draw, back to the point, back to Killens. Killens passes in over to Killens, back to the side wing, the shot. They can't get a stick on it. McMullen goes in shorthanded as he jumps out of the box. Centered in front to Nori, but Stratford gets possession back. Blunt back on the defense. He clears it way up the ice. 131 Forward left penalty. in the Caledonia the penalty. Paris, number 44. Two minutes for slashing. Two minutes for slashing to Nathan Ferris. Langford checked and back to the point. Cleon tries to keep it back on side, but Caledonia chips the puck back out. Stratford defender chased by McMullen. McMullen picks it up in neutral ice and clears the puck back in. Metzger looks behind the net, but leaves the puck for his defenseman. 52 seconds left in the Stratford power play. Clears it up to Langford. Langford can't control the pass and cleared back in by Justin Abraham. Stratford goes down the wing. Watson can't control the pass. Murphy tried to chip ahead to Montour, but the play was intercepted again by Stratford. They keep the play in the offensive zone, but Caledonia clears the puck back down the ice. Just 15 seconds left in the Stratford power play. O'Brien back for Stratford. 
He circles his own net and drops it to the wing. Barton across to Watson, gives it back to Barton, and the shot is missed high. I don't think anyone got a stick on that, but somehow it deflected high up over the net. Watson tries for another scoring chance, drops it to the point, in behind the Caledonia net. Cleon tries to grab the puck on the boards, but Greg Christmas takes it out for Caledonia. The shot drifts wide of Metzger. Sauter grabs the puck. He does an awful lot of skating all by himself. Takes it down the side wing. Drops it to the point. The shot is blocked by Jeff Swift. Trying to shoot off the point again, but the play is intercepted. Jeff Swift on a two on one. Tries to go to Mitten, but he can't handle the pass. No shot on the play. A big hit in the neutral zone by Simon Blythe. A couple near miss checks in the neutral zone by Blythe. Let's continue the prizes. As Ezreal covers up. One one four, the new point of Jim Gibbs certificate at the ProFit Health Club, thirty seven seventy one six line on six nations. So there'll be a face off in the Caledonia zone. James wins the draw back to his defense. Nori chips the puck out, but James recovers for Stratford. Back to James. He chips it up the side. Boy grabs it on defense, deflected ahead by Nori. Bombery can't handle that pass. There's one minute left in the second. James, the shot is just wide, looking for that third goal. Blunt down in the corner, battles with the Stratford forward, drop to James. Intercepted by Curry, he dumps it back in. Two players fall in behind the Caledonia net. Several seconds tick away as no one can get the puck out on the right side of the boards. Just 11 seconds to go left in this second period. Chip back in behind the Caledonia net. Two seconds to play, and the buzzer will end the second period. So Trevor McDonald with the only goal of the second period for Stratford on assist by Cullen and Wetlauer as Stratford tries to get back into this game. The Caledonia Profit Corvairs now lead after two periods of play. The score one, zero, after two and periods, the Caledonia Profit Corvairs five Profit and the Stratford Cullens two. Line. In Six Nations, if you're holding cards... Six Stratford hits the ice to start the third period. Looking for a third goal to get back in the game. The referees and Caledonia head back on. Caledonia needs to take a few less penalties in this third period if they hope to hold on to their 5-2 lead. Caledonia looking for their fourth win of the year to improve on their 3-2 record. Looking to move up the standings as they're currently in fifth place in the GOJHL, chasing the third place Stratford Cullitons. Cambridge in first with the overall five and one record. Mitch Brown to face off against Barton here to start the third. Referee Wolf skates in and drops the puck. Barton wins the draw, drops it back to his defense, who clears in. O'Brien on the wing, 
digs it out back to Culleton. He can't keep the puck in, and Caledonia goes back up through neutral ice. Mitten chases the puck, but Stratford drops it back to their other defenseman. Chipped in along the boards, recovered by Wetlauer. He can't keep the puck. Jeff Swift down the wing. He looks to center, but Mitten can't get a pass past Jared Culleton. O'Brien clears the puck back in. Esveld gives it to his defenseman, Abraham. In through center, Montour goes in all alone by himself, and he's tripped up in a scuffle with Cleon as both players fall to the ice. Dumped in along the boards, Langford chips it back in. He's hit by Abraham Special and a cross check here to the on the play. Minor hockey with your, for all the help you provided during tonight's No, referee up. signals a shove. So we'll see what that call is. A minute and 14 seconds into the third period. Dalton Riley takes another Caledonia penalty. Not what Caledonia is looking for if they want to maintain their 5-2 lead. Barton in for the draw against Tyler Norrie. Both players tie up, played by Watson. Back to the point, into Watson. Watson looks around, drops it back to the point. Over to the other side, Culleton into the corner of the shot. And the pad save made by Esvel. Down the side Two minutes for checking from behind. So Justin Abraham goes off for two minutes for checking from behind. He'll also get a game misconduct on that play. Culleton keeps it in at the point, drops it down the wing. The shot, pad save by Esveld, and he covers up. O'Brien looking to chip the puck in in front, but Esveld covers up as O'Brien's contained by two Caledonia players. Swift in for the draw. He'll take the draw against Barton. Referee doesn't drop the puck immediately. The captain for Stratford throwing out. Barton gets the puck back. In along the sideboards. Checked in along the boards. Back to the point. Culleton looks in behind the net. A centering pass by Watson goes nowhere. Barton looks to grab the puck in the corner. Back to the point to Culleton. Back to Barton. Back to Culleton. His shot is just wide. Esveld doesn't have to quite make a save on that play. Culleton down the sideboards. Back to Culleton. Over to the other wing. Killens looks to make a pass into center. Watson can't get the shot away. Metzger makes the weak save, drops to Culleton and goes in behind his net. Wetlauer clears the puck in. And Curry grabs the puck back on defense for Stratford. The puck is misplayed and Nori four checks. Or Mitten four checks, sorry. Stratford regroups and goes up through center to Brooks. Brooks with the shot away and the save by Esveld as he covers up. Folks, get up those 50-50 tickets. If you've got number one, five, three, seven, six, you've just won $139. Come to the lobby to collect your money. 
James in to take the draw, loses the draw to Nori. Henderson clears the puck up around the boards, and Bombery goes all the way down the wing. He cuts into center, the shot and a save by Metzger. Nori looks out front, he's dumped, and Stratford goes back up the ice. Chip back in for Stratford. Henderson goes, regroups. The flip pass out front wide of Esveld. Cleared back into Henderson, and the referee whistles the play on the offside. Heyman in to take the draw against McMullen. McMullen wins the draw and back to the defense. Lund clears to the other side. O'Brien tries to chip the puck back in past the Caledonia defender. Intercepted and Caledonia heads back up ice. Lucas Tusseroni with a rare shift hands the puck to McMullen and he can't get a shot away. Jonathan back to the defense, chipped up through center and back on side. Tusseroni gives chase, but we're back in the neutral zone. McMullen drops to the defense, blunt up to Jonathan, who chips it into neutral ice back to the Stratford defense. McMullen tries to chip the puck away at center. Puck changing possession several times here in the neutral zone. 15 minutes to go in the third period. Montour can't make a pass and he goes back and recovers the puck. Gives it to Christmas who goes up on the board, up through center. Mitch Brown goes, tries to split two defensemen. Looks to Mitten, Mitten behind the net to Jeff Swift. Mitten in behind the net, and Stratford recovers the puck. In through center, and a big hit along the boards. I can't see who those two players are, but the Caledonia forward took the feet out from underneath Watson. There may be a penalty on that play. Ladies and gentlemen, we uh, have uh, to be collected from your lineup cards. Brooks you didn't card. like that. Didn't like his feet being six, taken eight, out from underneath two, him. And one, he looks zero, like he's going to spend six, two eight, minutes two, in the box for one, that. Zero, five, you just won passes for the next quarter home game. Didn't like the check and retaliated. And now he'll sit in the box for two minutes. Connor Murphy Stratford in the Stratford zone for the draw, but Cullen wins Jeff the draw. Two minutes for Murphy Ruffin. digs in along the boards, goes in behind the net. Dalton Riley can't keep the puck in. And a two-on-one break for Stratford possible. Back to Trevor Sauter, he misses just wide. Blunt recovers around his own net. Blunt heads off ice and throws the puck in around the netminder Metzger. Back to the point. Blunt's got the puck again. He hands off to Christmas. Or Blythe, excuse me. Blythe chips the puck in, but Stratford finally gets the puck out back to Blunt. Blunt turns around. He goes through center ice, hands the puck off to Dalton Riley. Riley the shot, and the pad saved by Metzger. Montour back, he looks around, keeps the puck, drops it off to Murphy. Murphy in through center, but drops the puck offside. Henderson has to go back and gives the puck to Montour. Riley in through center. The pass to Mitten. Mitten with the puck, drops to Murphy, over to Montour. The shot is just wide. 
Montour with the big shot off the point, but it went wide. No shot on goal there. Henderson goes back behind his netminder, Esveld. And he brings the puck up ice to Brown. Mitch Brown dumps it in behind the goalie. And Barton goes down into the corner for Stratford. We're whistled down on the offside. Nori in to take a draw against Andrew Barton. They tie up. And Scott Dorian gets hit in behind Joe Metzger, in behind the Stratford net. Dorian takes a hit. Several players try to chip the puck out. And Vander Gunst goes up the boards for Stratford. Vander Gunst digging in there against three players. The puck goes out to the Stratford defenseman. And Stratford chips the puck back in. Blunt up the boards, down the wing, the shot is cleared out. Cleon and McArdle go back to regroup for Stratford. McArdle with the puck, clears the puck up the boards. And Esveld goes back for Caledonia. The goalie clears the puck up around the boards. Stratford clears the puck back through neutral ice, but Dorian grabs possession. Dorian in alone can't control the puck. Back to Christmas. Christmas hands back to Montour, who gives to Dorian. The defenseman falls down, but Dorian can't keep control of the puck. O'Brien back the other way for Stratford, but they can't keep the play onside. Caledonia defensive zone. Caledonia gets possession of the puck. Mitten hands off to Brown who dumps it in. Metzger plays the puck and clears it up to McDonald. McDonald looks down the boards, but there's no pass there and Henderson clears it back in. Killens with the puck now. He goes up through neutral ice, nearly loses it to Mitten. And Henderson looks to regroup for Caledonia. They're in no hurry here with a five to two lead. Henderson gets the puck back, slowly setting up a good play if it's available, but with only 10 minutes to go, looking to either extend this five two lead or sit on their five two lead whichever works best for Caledonia, looking for their fourth win of the year. And we're whistled down for a high stick on the play with 10 minutes and two seconds left in the third period. McMullen and Trevor Sauter on the draw, slightly to the Caledonia end. McMullen wins the draw and drops the puck back to Blunt. Blunt across to his other defense partner, Ferris. Ferris looks up ice, takes it by himself, goes in all alone into the corner, and he's checked by Curry. A possible hit in neutral ice is missed when no one gains possession of the puck. McMullen in and Metzger makes the weak save. 
Not much of a shot there. Got down on his knees and made the glove save. But not a very offensive chance there for Caledonia. Metzger didn't have to do much to make that save. McMullen in to take the draw against Langford. Deep in the Stratford end, he wins the draw. Back to Montour on the point. He can't keep it in as the ref signals a possible offside. So Stratford takes the puck back out. Vander Gunst drops to Langford. He's in the zone and the puck is misplayed. Esvel gets maybe a little piece of that and drives it into the corner, back to the point to Pleon. Pleon's shot is blocked and back down into the corner. Back to the point to Pleon. Back down the sideboards and in behind the net. Heyman looking to receive a pass out front, but doesn't receive a pass. And Brett Heyman recovers in neutral ice. Can't find a pass and the puck goes into the Caledonia end for icing. Fans, remember your 50-50 ticket. If you have ticket one, five, Connor Murphy in the Stratford end. Come on up to the lobby to claim They tie up at the draw and Murphy falls top. over. Riley That's digs in there. One, five, three, in behind seven, the Stratford six. net. Goes up through center. Riley looking for a check. He turns around and goes after the Stratford defense up the boards. Blythe misses a check and Stratford goes in but misses the net. Wetlauer can't keep it in for Stratford. McCardle with the puck now. He goes in through center. Down the boards and a collision down the center zone. Wetlauer can't get a shot as he falls down. Connor Murphy in on the corner. Back to the defense. Riley can't clear the puck. He gets it back and down through center. Down the side board, Stratford in again. We're whistled down, Stratford trying to get back in this game. Down three goals. If they can get a quick one, they may have a chance with a couple minutes left to pot a couple goals and maybe tie this game, but Caledonia is looking for their fourth win of the season. Brown on the draw with Sauter. Ties up at the draw. Another penalty to Caledonia. Tyler Norrie goes off for slashing as Esveld makes another save. Caledonia taking far too many penalties in this game. But so far, it doesn't seem to be affecting them as they're maintaining a 5-2 lead. Sauter drops it off to the wing, up over top the net. Sauter in the corner. Looks back to the point. Drops it off to the defense, to the other defense. In down the side boards. The shot kicked aside by Esveld. Curry on the point, swings it over to the other side in front. Sauter and another big save by Esveld. Traps the puck in between his pads. Doesn't want to let that third Stratford goal in. 112 left on the penalty to Tyler Norrie. Blythe and Mitten down digging for the puck. Trying to clear the puck out as Edveld makes another save. Cullen off the point. The pass is deflected by O'Brien, but he can't put it past Edveld. 
Barton on the point. He's blocked. Blythe blocks the shot and back into the corner, back to the point. Culleton puts the puck down the side. Back to Culleton, back down the side. Into Barton, he tries to move into the slot. And the puck rolls wide of the net. 25 seconds to go in the Stratford power play. Zach Esveld coming up with several key saves here with six minutes to go in the third period. Dorian in to take the draw. He wins the draw back to Christmas. Over to Montour, back to Christmas. The shot is stopped, and Dorian tries to put the puck in on a rebound, but Metzger makes the save. So there was one shot in the center ice area. Dorian tried to grab the rebound, but Metzger with the big save. James wins the draw back to his Stratford defense partner. The defense moves the puck up. Stratford moves the puck in through center and dumps the puck in. Montour looks to call some time. Ryan Watson's gonna go off for roughing at 6.01 and now Caledonia will go on the power play looking to extend their 5-2 lead. Nori drops to Bombery. Bombery looks at Montour but keeps the puck. Montour shot and a glove save by Metzger. Yeah. Congratulations. Connor Murphy ties up at the draw and Stratford clears the puck. Esveld down behind the net, grabs it with his stick and hands off to Christmas. Christmas gives the puck to Montour but keeps it for himself. Christmas looks to move the puck up ice. He clears the puck in. Into Connor Murphy down the sideboards. Cleon back for Stratford, clears the puck out and down the ice with 40 seconds to go on the Stratford penalty. Esveld grabs it with a stick. Montour with a long skate up through the neutral zone gives it to Connor Murphy. Murphy down the wing, looks to drop to the point. Back to Murphy at the point. Murphy switches positions and goes to the point. Montour in the corner, drops to Jonathan in behind the net. Jonathan in behind the net, looks for a pass at the side, stopped by Metzger. Christmas goes back. Gives the puck to Montour. Riley digs in there looking for a power play goal. Montour regroups and drops to his defenseman. Blunt clears the puck up the boards. Metzger can't contain the pass. And back in on the sideboard. Center to Riley goes short side, but he can't put it in. Riley looks out front. Metzger shovels the puck away as there's a couple scrums down in the Stratford end. 3.30 to go here. Third period. Caledonia close to their second home win of the season. But that would be their first win here at Cuga Arena. So they'd have one win at Haldeman Arena and one win here in Cayuga. Puck cleared in, stopped by Metzger. He lets the puck go around the boards and leaves it for his defense. James plays the puck up. Mitten keeps the puck in, played by Culleton. 
Culleton tries to clear to the other side as Stratford tries to make a play. Only three minutes to go. Esveld makes the save. Fans and partners, next home game, Friday night, October the 5th at the HCCC. The puck drops at 7.20 p.m. Make sure you're part of the action. Brown on the, on the face-off against Sauter. Another big save by Esveld. Mitten and Brown look to dig the puck out, but they can't. Sauter grabs it for Stratford. Watson looking out front. Looking for Ryan Killens out front, but no centering pass, so Stratford has to regroup in their own end. Henderson grabs the puck for Caledonia, and he chips it up and out. Lucas Tusseroni gives chase and puts a shot high up over Culleton. And we go back to neutral ice. Watson chips it in for Stratford, hits the end boards. The Stratford player, Sauter, chased by Blythe. Sauter in behind the net. Looks to go out front to Watson, can't get a pass away. 1.53 left in the third. Time running out on Stratford's chances to get back in this game. Blocked out in front of the net. The defense looked for a shot, but the puck was blocked by two players standing out in front of the net. Trevor Sauter and a Caledonia player. James in on the draw against Tyler Nori. Nori wins the draw and drops it back to his defense, Monty. Blythe gets another penalty, two minutes for roughing. Caledonia taking too many penalties in this game, but still managing to stay on the positive end of a 5-2 score with just 1.19 left in the third period. Killens tries to clear the puck out. Blocked by Nori. Killens turns around. He's checked by Montour. Or Nori, sorry. Got the wrong number. One minute to play. Left in the third period. Caledonia with a 5 2 lead. Christmas period. turns around behind his net. Kept in by Stratford, but it may be too little, too late. 40 seconds, not enough time for three goals, but Langford goes in and Esveld makes a glove save. Esveld with several key saves here in the third period. Caledonia looking to kill this last 36.2 seconds and go back to Haldeman Arena next Friday night with a two and one home record. One last face-off here in the Caledonia zone. Connor Murphy against Barton. Stratford chips it in down the boards, looking for a play out front, back to Curry on defense. Curry goes wide of the net. Esveld looking sharp with only 17 seconds left to go in this game. Drops it down low. Stratford looking for a shot. Back on the defense and tipped just wide. The shot is blocked. And that's going to end this game. The fans applaud as the Caledonia Come out on the positive end of this one, defeating the Stratford Cullitons 5-2.
That may move them up in the standings. Caledonia now with a four and two record on the year. That should move them up from their fifth place current standing in the GOJHL as the Caledonia Corvairs defeat the Stratford Cullitans five to two. Our first goal of the game was scored by Brandon Bombery at 10-10 of the first. Then we had a goal by Connor Murphy to make it two to nothing. Both Bombery and Murphy had two goals apiece in this game as Caledonia eventually took a five to nothing lead. Andrew Barton got a goal for Stratford to get them within four. There was hardly any scoring in the second half of this game. No goals in the third, only one goal in the second by Trevor McDonald from Culleton and Wetlauer. The Caledonia Corvairs take this one five to two. I'm John Molson saying good night for now from Cayuga Arena. We'll see you next week.